valiantly here. Piranesi has another go. How much longer can Northland hold this? Now, intercept. Now, here's a real opportunity. Who's got the pace? And I think it's with Northland at the moment. It's Lockie Munro. And yep. Well, he scored four tries before today. He's got his fifth in the competition. And Northland have turned defence into a five-pointer, probably seven. Well, they had to defend valiantly like they did for 13 phases. The danger period was on back on the 22-metre line when Northland went sending any numbers to the breakdown, therefore making it very easy for Hawks Bay to recycle ball and go the width of what they did. Then when they get down to the 10-metre line, the danger zone, Northland start manning up. So man-on-man -man defence. The numbers were too good. The line speed was great by Northland. And in the end, the actual foot speed from Lockie Munro, good body position, arms are loose, cheeks loose. Sprint coaches will love it. He Not as much as him. Feeling mighty sick about that, Jason Schumach, because patience is what you really need, even if you're that talked about. And it ain't going to heal probably till next Christmas all of a sudden. And Munro gets a seven for his side. Get five. Tindale throws. And nice work by the new man, Boswell Wakefield. He's a, a youngster and he's tall. And he dragged that down from the opposition throw. Now here's Elliot freeing it up to Eaton. Show good pace. Off goes Eaton. Now can he find some support? Cut on the outside. And what a brilliant try from Chris Eaton. They had to strike back. And they did that brilliantly. Firstly, of course, the turnover line out. That's going to ruin North and has it done all year. North and performing below average line at times 72% of their own ball. They're winning, which isn't really good enough at this level. But then from the turnover, Hick Elliott once again, boy, he's been instrumental on so many of these raids. Going to see ball in hand often. Tim Dow got smoked in the blind side by Eden. The ball in two hands, questions the defence. Simon Munro gambled on the inside pass. He didn't give it. And Eaton was quick enough in the end yeah, he to stroll over. He waited, didn't he? He wanted McKenty to come around earlier so that he could drift wider. But McKenty didn't quite arrive in time, and Dow was caught in no man's land. And that was wonderful work from uh, Chris Eaton, who has relished his late opportunity. Matt Wallace wearing one, packing on the tight head side of the scrum. Does he always do that? Only when they turn around half time, he might change. I'm not sure. No, just, it's a bit of a strange one. Anyway, here's the penalty. This looks pretty good. It is good. Accumulating the points is what to uh, talk about too with Ian Smith and the build up a show. Getting down there to structured play. Hawks will be happy where they are. Eight. He's so effective, but uh, this is uh, very important psychologically for Northland. They've defended well and may profit because of that. Munro, he boots it through. So Northland uh, rega. Looking to land his second penalty goal of the game, Mark Jackman. From a handy position, through it goes. And Hawks Bay regain the lead. 11 points to 10. So it's up to those men. Homan is always a willing runner with the ball. Eaton for Elliott. Elliott frees the arms, beautifully done. And Johnson almost got through. A strong game, Michael Johnson. Now Fotoli'i. Nice little shimmy. Off it goes to Jackman. Now Buckman getting very close. Very close. And I think so. I think so. Richard Buckman. And they seem pretty happy about it. Incredible strength shown by the young man on the right-hand wing, Richard Buckman. We know he's a cool customer. We saw that when he kicked those penalties against Wycott a few weeks back. But the change in game plan and style with the forwards getting themselves involved, going over the game line, attacking through the middle of the north and ruck, which has led to this opportunity. So we're going to check it downstairs just to see whether everything's okay. Now he's in field, happily there, stretching and... Yep. Very nicely done. No doubt about it.
about that. No, juggle ball there, but he regained it and put that try down to the coaching staff. Their ability to change what the team had to do in the halftime break. And of course, the players to listen, understand, and look for a minute in this opening 11 minutes. Well, he's had a terrific season, Richard Buckman. He's very strong. He's a strong defender, but uh, he's been a terrific point scorer too for Hawks Bay. He's kicked some unlikely kicks at uh, various times. But that was tremendously strong, wasn't it? But uh, the support player of the Hawks Bay players, on top of the great effort by those uh, low numbers initially, Pato uh, Ali'i summed it up beautifully, didn't he, with that little overlapping pass. Jackman committing a defender in McKenty. And uh, also Dean Budd brought out of the line. It just gave them a little bit of freedom there, but still so much to do amongst three defenders. Plenty to do. Hicker Elliott once again involved in that uh, movement multiple times. Well, they're doing pretty well to the running off. Pretty important kick though, because could give them an eight point lead. And oh, that's a beauty. Well, now the challenge, Smithy, is from the north and tight forwards, one through to five, to stand up to the challenge laid down by the... This is a gimme. And converted by Lockie Munro. So it's 18 points to 13, and 20 minutes left. Yeah, so they get the extra penalty. Up. Hands on the ball somehow for the Tanifa. Munro kicks it, only just makes it over. It's been grabbed by Evans. And that's a big take because Horse Bay back in possession. Now Elliott. Here's a Trent Bosman. Here's a try. Scored by Fonta Lee. Put it all down to Brent Evans. Khan Fonta Lee takes the plaudits, but the big lock did the hard work. Yeah, it was a good kickoff, Lockie Munro. No question about that. He gave his forwards the greatest opportunity to attack it from the side. But he also didn't count on Brent Evans, the big Hawks Bay all black lock forward, getting higher than anyone else and plucking it out in two hands wonderfully well. And from that, put himself over the game line. Another guy that's really impressed me since coming on, Trent Roswell Wakefield, Jersey 19. He is, looks a player of some promise. And he'll be the man who comes in eventually to give the ball the Count Fortilei, I really like the cut of this guy's cloth. Very athletic. And that wrapped it up. And fair play to the Tani Father. Had a go. Lockie Munro for the short kick to contest it. It didn't work out. And fair play to the Magpies. It's and their now, game. bonus point try looms for Hawks Bay. The kick has made the game relatively safe. But can they get the extra?